<laughs> you roll the f out of that thing. I like that. It's that supermoto stoppies hit different. They just pick up like nothing. Oh, show them no, a little no, stoppy. Oh, I'll stop you. She's soft in the front, so just be ready for a dike. Cool. What is up, guys? It is your least favorite moto vlogger, Brian636, and welcome to Hoodie 59. Today, we are on the beautiful 2016 Harley Davidson Roadster. Been having an absolute blast on this thing. I know I haven't featured it in a while on the channel. And as you can see by the beach, we are not in Chicago. We are in Daytona Beach, Florida. Now, we're not down here at Daytona Beach during any regular week. We are here during Bike Week, the infamous Daytona Beach Bike Week. I can't wait to show you guys a little bit around and go back down on Main Street because it's absolutely packed. And we're not going to just do the regular touristy thing and go out there and go to a spot on the strip. We are going to go into the neighborhoods of Daytona. As you can see, we're running out of sunlight, and I cannot wait to show you guys around this beautiful, beautiful place. Let's do it. Thank you. Aw, hi, puppers. Looks like he's tired. Now, if that isn't a beautiful, beautiful sight, I don't know what is, people. Bikes as far as the eye can see, just for blocks and blocks and blocks. I gotta go this way and then do a U-turn? No. Nope. Oh, I'll go down a block then. Traffic is insane. Now, I feel like Daytona definitely comes with the stigma of Harleys only, but as you can see, adventure bikes, Groms, sport bikes, of course. Thank you, brother. Sport bike let me in. Uh, they're all here, man. They're all here in full, full effect. <laughs> she said, knock it off. 10% Irish, 90% drunk. Can you see me now, asshole? This guy's patches, are you kidding me? Right here on your left, you have the infamous Cruisin' Cafe. This is like the big, big party spot that a lot of riders end up at most nights around here. This is like a full service bar with like 100 bartenders in it with a bunch of little mini bars. It's just really crazy there at night. The OnlyFans bus was at it last night. I didn't know that they were so heavily involved in Supercross and motorcycling, but I guess OnlyFans is. They're sponsoring riders and everything. What's up guys, it's Brian636 and today we are on the Can-Am Riker. Now this was a little bit of a stigma for me to get over riding one of these three wheelers, but it was surprisingly fun. Not having the hand controls was weird to get used to at first, but I ended up having a really good time just having a throttle and a foot brake. And it's a really relaxing way to get out and not be in a car, but also still feel like you're riding a motorcycle. And it's the perfect thing to pull up to the function on. So I had an absolute blast on it. Thank you, Can-Am. Lot of traffic control out here. Look at this, man. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Look at my guy in the 110 just riding down the strip. Oh my god. Oh, these cops just aren't doing nothing. I love it. Daytona's got a pretty bad uh, stigma with you're gonna get a, a ticket for every little thing, man. Blinkers, you know, not putting both feet down at the stoplights. The whole nine. What an owl, man, dude. Can't even rip the tire. Just burn your clutch right in front of me. Come on. My God, is there a lot of Harleys, man. A couple Indians. Look at the boss, the V8 trike. Jesus. Some interesting, interesting bikes out here. Like, what the hell is that thing? So what would Hootie Eats be without a little bit of history and how did this start and why are we here and how the hell did a little town in the middle of Florida become this for 10 days a year? Well, in late January of 1937, the Daytona 200 was held just south of town. It was a motorcycle track race that drew its first crowds to this sleepy little beach town. Now, ever since 1937, this rally has been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And as you know, over the past couple years, when COVID went into full effect, Florida did not, and it did not stop the rallies at all. If anything, it made them a whole lot bigger. Go back down the other street here. 
I like your sporty. Ain't nothing wrong with that. A little vulgar USA bag. Now with this being over 80 years down here at Daytona Beach Bike Week, you know the type of people that it brings. We had a little bit of it last night and it was just wild. And with that comes a lot of bad actors. I've seen the news stories on it. Over 100 bikes got stolen down here last year. Over $1 million worth of motorcycles. There's literally guys that come down here with empty trailers. And let's just say they don't leave empty. So you really gotta be on your P's and Q's, not just you know looking out for 1% clubs or cops or anything. People are out here actively trying to steal y'all's bikes. So keep that head on a swivel. Not everyone out here just wants to buy you a cold beer and talk about your bike. Look at the ZX14 just full of stickers. What the hell is going on here? A lot of cops. Like 10 cops on every single block. As much as a tourist in me wants to stop and, and eat down here, I don't know. I feel like I gotta go into the neighborhood of Daytona to, uh, to really check it out and get a good feel for it. Now this rally actually draws crowds upwards of half a million. So really the only thing that really rivals this is Sturgis. And uh, to be honest, Sturgis is a lot more spread out. Daytona Beach is a lot more condensed. So the traffic and the crowds out here are, are pretty insane. He's got the Sporty Bob, Sporty Bob badges too. Is uh, today gonna be the biggest day or tomorrow? Today's the first day. So. Normally today's the biggest? Normally today they have the most people? Yeah. Yeah, today is the first official day of, uh, of bike week here, so kind of figured today and tomorrow is normally the biggest. Nice bike! <laughs> you got beautiful eyes. What? Your eyes are beautiful. Oh, thank you. Your eyes are beautiful. <laughs> This is uh, some Chicago Scooter Squad material right there. Oh man, look at the big slingshot thing. Launch you straight up into the air. I've never done that before. I'm probably gonna try to do that. <laughs> Whoa. It's a true, true adventure bike right there. It's a XR 650, right? No helmet law down here in Florida. Don't freak out, Cali people. So many hotels and resorts down here too that just make a absolute killing during these weeks. Ask me how I know. Our hotel right here literally went from like $280 yesterday and since today is the first day of bike week, $700 a night. Riding off into the sunset. Beautiful baby. <laughs> Beautiful. And that's why stunting on Harleys is so cool, man. Get a thumbs up from an old guy who might not think uh, wheelies are that cool, but they see it in person on their own bikes and it's kind of cool. Where at in Illinois are you from? Crystal Lake. Oh, Crystal Lake. Okay, I'm in Chicago. That's awesome. Small world. Small world. Hey, you too, yeah. Ride safe. That's funny, man. Yeah, look, all the Illinois plates. Lots and lots of guys come from up in the north states down here, obviously, for the warmth. But I'll tell you what, I think that's probably going to be the last wheelie of this vlog, too, because the cops out here, like I said, they don't play. Get your bike impounded real quick. Daytona Beach city limit and uh, yeah we immediately start seeing a little bit more vacant and rundown buildings. Now when I started looking at a map of Daytona Beach and its crime and uh, the crime rate here it really 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 surprised me. I'm not gonna lie guys. I w thought I wasn't gonna be able to find a hood here for hood eats. Oh hell no. Daytona Beach crime rate is actually three times that of Florida as a whole. Daytona Beach has some of the roughest neighborhoods in Florida with a violent crime rate of 10.1 out of 1,000. That's how likely you are to become a victim of violent crime here in Daytona Beach compared to the rest of Florida, which is a measly 3.72. So Florida as a whole is a really safe state, but, and uh, look who we have here, the Outlaws chapter. Very much like the West Side of Chicago people. That's wild, the Outlaws have a chapter just right in the middle of the neighborhoods here in Daytona Beach. And when we look at a map of the crime and where it happens, it does not happen in the touristy area, believe it or not. Uh, it happens here from a whole host of reasons. But to be honest, I think the main driving factor here, gang conflict and the very, very lucrative drug trade that exists here, especially during the rally. The lucrative drug trade here is, yeah. There's a reason that a lot of these 1% clubs 
are as big as they are. This is a part of Daytona Beach that most do not see during the rally. Houses look like they're still boarded up from the hurricane, but these are just vacant properties, man, all over Daytona Beach. But I still can't find an Airbnb to stay at. I gotta pay the $700 a night for the hotel. Look at that, they got a Madison Street too. Jesus, man, what the hell's going on here? Somebody either was really bad last night or, uh, yeah, I think someone was really bad last night, got all their stuff thrown out. Freaking wild, man. Daytona Beach, not exactly what most think of. All the Harleys. Fuck around and find out surveillance system. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, no thank you, man. I'm not about that club life. Is this still all Daytona Beach? How, uh, what are the city limits? Is it the, it's not the bridge there? How far does it go out? Okay. That's wild. Definitely a different neighborhood when you cross the bridge. I'm riding around back there. I'm like, I'm not in Daytona Beach anymore, but I guess I am. Ooh, that just smells good. Mm -mm -mm. Now, if this ain't hoodie, I don't know what is. A rib sandwich. You like? My girl. The smell makes the sell. Yeah, that's that's about right. I pulled up. I smelled that. Hello, uh, can I have the rib sandwich, please? The rib sandwich? Yeah. It's kind of over here. Mild meat sauce. Uh, just give me the mild. Mild sauce, rib sandwich. I got the rib sandwich. Have you had, you haven't had that? No, I had the first time I've ate these guys. Oh, well, look at that. That looks good, dude. Yeah. Are you like a food critic? Uh, I wouldn't say a food critic, but oh, I, I enjoy okay. traveling a lot and I do a lot of food reviews on my motorcycle. I try not to be a critic though. Super, super, super good. Uh, the sauce isn't too hot or spicy. You can see the meat literally like falls off the bone. Super similar to the ones that I actually had in Jacksonville about two years ago with Lean Back Luke. I don't remember the episode name, but this is uh, something about that Florida barbecue sauce and really, really, really tender ribs. Just a really good combination. These guys kill it. Very good. My YouTube's Brian636. Yes, sir. And then this is a series called Hood Eats. So I go to different neighborhoods all over the U.S., primarily Chicago, but sometimes I've, I've been to Tijuana, I've been to Stockholm, I've done a couple in uh, Miami, another one in Jacksonville. This is my first one in Daytona Beach. Oh, man, that sauce is the real deal. That sauce is the real deal. Anything going to be better than uh, out on Main Street, though. They're charging $25 for a quesadilla. Crazy. But that was fire. That's a 10 out of 10. The sauce. Sauce is really good. Appreciate you guys, man. You have a good night. Enjoy your fish and enjoy your weekend. I'll try. <laughs> Thank you. So she's going to keep me in her prayers. Aww. We need those prayers where we're going. Back downtown. With ribs. There's a lot of videos, I know. <laughs> he looked it up. Hit the subscribe button. Was, Holy shit. Who eats is kind of a big deal. Y'all people made this thing a big deal. The subscribers. I love it. I'll tell you what, it does not get any better than that, people. You come down here, down south, whether it's Georgia, Alabama, Florida, and you pull over to a little roadside barbecue like that, I haven't had bad. I mean, they're all just legendary. Some of my favorite barbecues down here, down south, for real. I've only had barbecue one time that's really good in Chicago from Lem's on 75th on the south side. So I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but man, I don't know what's going down in Florida, but you guys make your food really good. You know what we got to do since we got our barbecue. A bit of barbecue wheelies. Hey, the mini bike. Why is everyone calling me over there? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Oh, really? 
sure it's nothing good then. Give it a thumbs up. I don't want to go over there, brother. I'm good. <laughs> I don't know you. I guess the neighborhoods are kind of just a free-for-all right now since every single freaking Daytona police officer is at the beach. I'm at the beach. I'm at the beach. You guys want some barbecue ribs? Yeah? They're really good. Huh? Oh, I scared you? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, buddy. Oh, you guys are shooting. Okay, they're shooting videos. I'm not cool. Got it. Are you shooting pictures or video with that? Video? Kenny's f***ing it up. Let's go. Why not? Let's go run with unknown guys in Axel Hodges. What else do we get to do it? boys are here. Hey. I get one more phone call from you, I swear to God. And you put me in the group chat. Yeah, you put me in. Bullshit. I don't know half those numbers. Two in the morning. I don't know half those numbers. Elijah blames it on you. I yell at Elijah. Can't believe this bullshit. What's up, big dog? How you doing? You good? Yeah, good. Good. Yeah. All good. Just to get the park. You roll the f out of that thing. Like that? I like that. Yeah. Said supermoto stoppies hit different. They just pick up like nothing. Oh, show show them a little stoppy. Oh, I'll stoppy. I'll try it. I haven't tried it 300, but I'll got. I'll, I'll give it a shot. It's just bone stock. Pretty soft in the front, so just be ready for a dike. Cool. <laughs> Axel Hodges, come rip this thing. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this thing's pretty fun. Yeah, like the more you ride it too, the more fun. If this was adjustable, you could really get some yeah. fucking feet out of this. Click like third and fourth. I love supermoto. They're so much fun. I started stopping in that thing. I can't get it to go more than 50, 60 feet. It's got so much more weight to pick up. That's pretty fun. Axel, right? Yeah. Brian. Brian nice yeah, to good to meet you, man. Pauly! Hello. How are you? Hi, how are you? What's up? How are you? I thought that was you. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby! Thanks, pal. How are you? How are you? Good. All right, guys, we're going to get the ride. Appreciate you guys watching Hood Eats episode 50 freaking 9. Kind of wild. We got the stoppy Axel Hodges bike. And yeah, just got to get out in Daytona Beach, in the real Daytona Beach, and try out some good, authentic barbecue. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. And you already know, leave a comment down below. I love reading them and interacting with them. As always, guys, Lee's favorite motor vlogger, Brian 646, signing off from Daytona Beach. Peace.